Well, dance teaches physical and mental skills. It's creative and artistic and teaches discipline. You can learn all of that while having a great time thanks to Kay McGalkey Dance Studios. Joining us today to chat all about the studio and the classes they're offering is the owner of the studio, Kay McGalkey. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you for being here. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Thank you. So excited to have you here. And dance, how did you get started in it? Uh, well, like uh, I said, I, I, my mom told me that I burst out of her womb doing a grand chate. <laughs> so I've been dancing my whole life. You know, pictures of me, I can see me prancing around. And actually, um, I didn't know that people had to take dance lessons, you know, in order to dance because, you know, you, in the movies, they just all get up and just start dancing. So yeah. that's what I thought. But I actually, I started dancing when I was five, taking classes anyway. Yeah. Wow. Uh, what's, like, inspired you to open up a studio? Well, because I loved to dance. It was my whole life. And uh, I knew in my heart I, that I wanted to do something, you know, with dance. So I didn't know whether that was going to be going into a career in being a performer or teaching and uh, since I also wanted a college education I uh, decided well I'm gonna open a little studio and uh, that'll help me pay for my college education so and then from there it just grew and grew and grew and so after I graduated from college I just made it a full-time job Wow it's huge yeah. you can turn your passion into your career exactly I love exactly that. yes well you have three different locations mm -hmm. correct can you mm -hmm. just tell us a little bit about the studio yes uh, my uh, Two studios have two different names, actually, well, my three studios, but two of them have the same name. And th that goes under K School of Dance. And that those locations are in Dinuba and Sanger. And those studios I've had for 52 years. So wow. I've been yeah, in the business for a long time. <laughs> and then uh, my Fresno studio is called Fig Garden Dance Studio. And that one I. I've had that one for 30 years now. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know you're an expert at that point. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> well, you said you have fall classes starting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about the classes you're offering. Uh, well, at our studios, we're kind of a multi-genre studio. So we offer classes in tap, ballet, jazz, hip-hop, contemporary, point, uh, musical theater dance, wow. tumbling, and Mexican folklorico. So we have all those available. That's incredible. Yeah. And the students can do any of those? Uh, they can pick what they want. Usually we start them out with tap and ballet because those are kind of your basics, yeah. you know, when they're younger. Um, but uh, we're kind of finishing up our summer classes right now. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we're, but we're registering uh, children for their uh, fall cl classes at the same time. And those classes will start the day after Labor Day on uh, September the 3rd. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, class-wise, kind of how is it structured? How much time are you kind of expected to put into this? Well, most of our students take one class a week. And, you know, we got a lot that really want to either go into the business or start teaching for me, so they take multiple classes. But um, we have very competitive rates as far as that goes, too, because we do have discounts. Like if you take multiple classes or, um, you know, there's families that have several siblings that also take from us. And you guys have recitals too. I mean, we have some of the yes, videos of some yes, of your recitals. Uh -huh. That's some of our uh, more advanced oh, wow. students that are dancing right now. Yeah, that was at our Fig Garden recital. It's beautiful. I mean, look at them go. Yeah. What style of dance would that be? Uh, that's jazz, uh, kind of like a lyrical jazz dance that's happening right now, too. That song called A Million Dreams. I'm sure everybody's familiar with that song. Love it. Yeah. Competition wise, are you, do you have to do competitions? Or you... uh, we used to do, we used to have a big competition team, but I just, uh, you know, kind of over that, I, I allow them to do competitions if they would like to, but we don't have a team anymore. So we, we concentrate mostly on really teaching good technique and skills and that type. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. well, what do you expect from your students who are taking a part of this? Because I know it's kind of, it's a two-way street. Exactly. Well, I expect them to get out of their classes um, an appreciation, of course, for whatever dance skill that they're taking, an appreciation for music. Uh, a lot of uh, kindergarten teachers love it when the kids take before they get into school because they also learn mm. that student teacher discipline kind of thing. So they learn discipline as well. And, uh, and they have fun. You know, we, we, our studio, we want them to also have fun. I mean, it has to be fun for them. 
I love that. Mm -hmm. well, if someone wanted to sign up for the fall classes, where could they go to do it? And uh, the best place to go is uh, on our website. Uh, the website is kmigakidance.com. Uh, because since I have you know different names for my studios, I didn't want to put it under one name, or else mm -hmm. they would get confused as far as you know where where do we look to find our studio that we want to go to. So that awesome. would be the best place to go. Well, one more time, just in case anyone wants to take these classes, can you kind of say where each studio is located? Yes. K School of Dance is in Dinuba and Sanger, and then our Fresno location is called Fig Garden Dance Studio. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you, Maddie. And good luck with everything. Thank you.